Hey everyone, beloved Clone Wars heroes Anakin Skywalker, Ahsoka Tano, and Obi-Wan Kenobi, and the fearsome Sith Lord Darth Vader are now available in the newest Brahalla Star Wars event and Patch 806. We also added a balance pass, test feature adjustments, and more, so here are the details. Anakin Skywalker Mythic Crossover a compassionate yet reckless Jedi Knight believed to be the prophesied chosen one. Obi-Wan Kenobi Mythic Crossover A legendary Jedi Master, noble and gifted in the ways of the Force. Ahsoka Tano Mythic Crossover Once a Padawan, now an outcast who helps those in need no matter what. Darth Vader Mythic Crossover A Dark Lord of the Sith tasked with hunting down the Jedi. All four of these Force users arrive in Brawlhalla as Mythic Crossovers, featuring all new tech, custom signature effects, unique lock-in animations, dedicated roster spots, and their distinct lightsabers. In Brawlhalla, Anakin Skywalker and Darth Vader mirror the abilities of Ezio. Ahsoka Tano and Obi-Wan Kenobi mirrored the abilities of Asuri and Val, respectively. All Star Wars-themed items will stay in Mahala after the event ends. This event also features new items in Mahala. Introducing Asgardian lightsabers, modeled after an elegant weapon for a more civilized age, featuring custom light attack effect swaps, light attack sounds, and custom pickup animations, available for sword, spear, and katars. Force Levitation Emote, four avatars, and five emojis. The Brawlhalla Star Wars event also includes Jedi Knight title reward for logging in during the event. Take the high ground in the new free-for-all map Mustafar. New Brawl of the Week game mode, Brawl of the Heroes. New splash art and UI theme. Original main menu, character select and victory theme music. And daily login bonus of 250 gold to celebrate this event. This week, we're featuring a brand new Brawl of the Week called Brawl of the Heroes. Take the high ground in an epic 1v1 duel above the fires of Mustafar. Beware the rising lava as you battle. Knock out all of your opponent's stocks to win. This patch includes a balance pass, so here's Eric with the info. This round of balance changes improves the risk-reward ratio for several underused signatures while reigning in the reward for certain overperforming key signatures following the Trial of Emir tournaments. The previously decreased stun on Spear Sidelight and Side Air has opened several gaps in the Spear String game. We've increased the stun of the Side Light to allow for slightly more reliable follow-up attacks. The Sword Down Light carried too much risk for its relatively thin total threat coverage. We've slightly reduced the recover time on Miss to better match this attack's required precision on the ground. Cassidy's Down Blasters had an overly long total duration that is easily punished from a significant distance away. We've reduced the recover time to help offset this lengthy commitment and continue the flow of combat. Diana's Side Blasters often requires more precision than most side signatures, so we've borrowed some of the power from Diana's incredibly strong side bow. The Side Blasters now has greater force and less recover time. At the cost of slightly less force on Diana's Side Bow. We've increased the force and damage of Ember's neutral katars to better match its lengthy total duration and the slow bloom to its threat coverage. Fate's neutral orb would often score knockouts too early when striking an airborne target with the top of the attack. We've reduced the force to bring the knockout range closer in line with other similar attacks, and some of this lost power has been traded for a minor increase in damage. Lucian's neutral blasters would score knockouts significantly later than other similar signatures due to its diagonal knockback and Lucian's low strength. We've increased the force to allow the signature to score knockouts at a more appropriate time. 
we've slightly increased the force on Lunin's neutral bow to better match its relatively slow time to hit and travel time. Tezka's side gauntlets and side boots would score knockouts too early, so we've reduced the force to better match with their horizontal reach and movement. Zariel's neutral bow now has greater recover time on miss, as the user could previously cover themselves too quickly with a second attack. Players will now have a larger window to launch a counterattack from the ground or from directly above Zariel. Thanks, Eric! We've made some adjustments to the recently added Sentinel Side Hammer rework test feature. New visual effects have been added to the charge variation to better differentiate between the charged and base version. Also, we fixed a special case where performing the heavy attack while gravity cancelled would cause it to end abruptly. Based on player feedback, we've also decided to remove perfect dodge from test features and it will not be graduating. Please make sure to continue giving us your feedback on this and other test features on Discord, Twitter, Reddit, or any of our other official social channels. We also made some game improvements like more buddy emotes display with their buddy variations in Mahala. And we made bug fixes like... We adjusted legend spawns on Chasm, Crumbling Chasm, and Crumbled Chasm. This week's free-to-play legend rotation features... Ember. Core. Southern. Dusk, Nyx, Mako, Sidra, Tesca, and Olgram. Thanks everyone for watching and enjoy the new Brawlhalla Star Wars event! To see the complete patch notes, visit us at brawlhalla.com.